Lesson 1. In each lesson we shall learn certain basic roots from which we shall form words. The ten basic roots in this lesson are as follows. Amique, friend. Signor, mister. Belle, beautiful. Infan, child. Vir, man. Bon, good. Yun, young. Patr, father. Alt, high. Grand, big. There are also two other words. La, which means the, and kai, which means and. In order to form words from roots, we use endings. You will find three of these endings on the left-hand side of your page. They are O, which is the noun ending, A, which is the adjective ending, and I, which is the plural ending. I am now going to read through the material on your page, and I want you to repeat the Esperanto after me. At the same time, comprehending or understanding the meaning. When you have repeated each word or phrase or sentence, I shall provide you with a meaning. We'll begin now. Patro means father or a father. Esperanto has normally no indefinite article. La patro, the father. Patroi, fathers. La patroi, the fathers. Infano, child or a child. La infano, the child. Infanoi, children. La infanoi, the children. Patro cae infano. Father and child. Patro cae infanoi. Father and children. Patroi cae infanoi. Fathers and children. La patro cae la infanoi. The father and the children. La patro cae infanoi. The father and children. Amico. Friend. La amico. The friend. Amicoi. Friends. La amicoi. The friends. Pelo. Beauty. Pono. Goodness. Bella. Beautiful. Bona. Good. Bona patro. A good father. Patro bona. A good father. You will notice that word order in English and in Esperanto are not necessarily the same. Bona patro and patro bona both mean a good father. Bona i patroi. Good fathers. Patroi bonai. 
also good fathers. Infanoi bonai, good children. Bona infano, a good child. Patra bono, fatherly goodness. Infana bello, childish beauty. Bonai amicoi, good friends. Amico bona, a good friend. Infano bona cae bella, a good and beautiful child. Bona patro cae bella infanoi. a good father and beautiful children. Amicae infanoi, friendly children. Amica patro, a friendly father. Infana bono, childish goodness. Infana bello, Childish beauty. Bella viro. A handsome man. Vira bello. Manly beauty. Yuna viro. A young man. Vira yuno. Virile youth. Patro cae unae infanoi. A father and young children. Viro cae unae amicoi. A man and young friends. Amico cae la unae infanoi. A friend and the young children. Amico cae la bella infano. A friend and the beautiful child. Virai infanoi. Male children. Amicoi bellai cae bonai. Beautiful and good friends. Granda amico. A great friend. Viro granda. A big man. Viro granda cae bella. A big and handsome man. Viro alta cae bella. A tall and handsome man. Alta infano. A tall child. Vira alto. Male height. La viro bella. The handsome man. La viro granda. The big man. La granda amico. The big friend. La amico alta. The tall friend. La signoro alta. The tall gentleman. La signoroi bonai. The good gentleman. 
la amicae signoroi. The friendly gentleman. Now, in farming words, we use not only roots and endings, but also prefixes and suffixes. On the left, you see two suffixes and one prefix. The first suffix is in, and this indicates that the rest of the word is feminine. The second suffix is ul, and means a person who is the rest of the word. The prefix ge indicates both sexes together. Let us see how this works. Patro, a father. Patrino, a mother. Amico, a friend. Amichino, a girlfriend. Signoro, a gentleman. Signorino, a lady. Viro, a man. Virino, a woman. Patrino cae infanoi. a mother and children. Virino cae amicinoi. A woman and girlfriends. Patrinoi cae patroi. Mothers and fathers. Viro cae virino. A man and a woman. Viro cae amicino. A man and a girlfriend. Signoroi. Gentlemen. Signorinoi cae signoroi. Ladies and gentlemen. Bonai patrinoi. Good mothers. Amikinoi yunai kai belai. Young and beautiful girlfriends. Bela patrino kai infano granda. A beautiful mother and a big child. Yuna infano, patro, cae patrino. A young child, a father and a mother. Bonulo. A good guy. Bellulo. A handsome chap. Grandulo. A big fellow. Yunulo. A young person. Altulo. A tall fellow. Bonulino. A good woman. Bellulino. A beautiful woman, a beauty. Grandulino. A big woman. Yunulino. A young girl. Altulino. A tall woman. Yunula alto. 
Youthful Height, Junulina Bello, A Young Girl's Beauty, Infana Junulo, A Childish Youth, Bellulina Bono, A Beautiful Woman's Goodness, Bello Bonulina, A Good Woman's Beauty, Alta Caibona Junulo, A Tall and Good Youth, Bona Altulo, A Good Tall Guy, Bella Grandulino, a beautiful big woman, Gepatroi, parents, Ge amicoi, friends of both sexes, Ge signoroi, ladies and gentlemen. Geviroi, men and women. Gepatra bono, parental goodness. Geyunuloi, young people. Geyunula belo, young people's beauty. Gebonuloi, good people of both sexes. Gebeluloi, beautiful people of both sexes. And now we pass to one of the most useful prefixes of all. The prefix mal. Mal means the opposite of. And this is how it works. Bona. Good. Malbona. Bad. Bella. Beautiful. Malbela, ugly. Alta, tall. Malalta, short. Yuna, young. Malyuna, old. Granda, Big, malgranda, small. Grandai gepatroi kai malgrandai infanoi. Big parents and small children. Belai geyunuloi kai malbelai malyunuloi. Beautiful young people and ugly old people. Bona signoro kai mal bonai infanoi. A good gentleman and bad children. Bonai gepatroi kai infanoi mal bonai. Good parents and bad children. Malbelulo yuna. A young, ugly fellow. Malaltulo maluna. A 
an old small person. Grandai kai mal grandai infanoi. Big and small children. Patroi bonai kai mal bonai. Good and bad fathers. La bella signorino kai la mal bella signoro. The beautiful lady and the ugly gentleman. La maliunulino kai la mal bellulo. The old woman and the ugly man. Next, we deal with the first five numerals and also the word Chirkau, which means about or around. The five numerals are Unu, one, Du, two, Tri, three, Kvar, four, and Kvin, five. Unu patro, one father. Du gepatroi, two parents. Tri unuloi, three youths. Kvar unulinoi, four young girls. Kvin malbeluloi. Five ugly fellows. Unu virino. One woman. Du geunuloi. Two young persons. Tri unulinoi. Three young girls. Kvar signoroi. Four gentlemen, Kvin amicoi, five friends, Unu bella infano, one beautiful child, Du infanoi belai, two beautiful children, Tri signoroi bonai. Three good gentlemen. Kvar bonai belulinoi. Four good beautiful women. Kvin mal bonai malunulinoi. Five bad old women. Chirkau kvin viroi. About five men. Chirkau kvar yunuloi. About four youths. Chirkau kvar infanoi. About four children. Actions take place in time. They may be taking place now, and this is the present tense. They may have taken place previously, and this is the past tense. Or they may still be about to take place, and this is the future tense. In Esperanto, the ending, which indicates the present tense, is as. That of the past tense is is, 
and of the future tense, os. At this point, we learn one more root. It is the root est, which means be. La infano estas bona. The child is good. La infano estis bona. The child was good. La infano estos bona. The child will be good. La infanoi estas bonai. The children are good. La infanoi estis bonai. The children were good. La infanoi estos bonai. The children will be good. La infanoi estas grandai. The children are big. La infanoi estis grandai. The children were big. La infanoi estos grandai. The children will be big. La bella patrino estas bona. The beautiful mother is good. La bella patrino estis bona. The beautiful mother was good. La bella patrino estos bona. The beautiful mother will be good. La amico estos altulo. The friend will be a big man. La amico estis altulo. The friend was a big man. La amico estas altulo. The friend is a big man. La gepatroi estis maliunai. The parents were old. La gepatroi estos maliunai. The parents will be old. La gepatroi estas maliunai. The parents are old. Lastly, we deal with two useful little words. Kun, meaning with, and sen, meaning without. You will discover that these can be used also, like roots, to form words. La signoro estas kun la gipatroi. The gentleman is with the parents. Infanoi sen gepatroi. Children without parents. Sen gepatrai infanoi. Parentless children. Kun la amicoi estas amikinoi. With the friends are girlfriends. Kunulo. One who is with a companion. Kunulino. A female companion. Sen infanai virinoi. Childless women. Viroi sen virinai.
womanless men. Sen yunai in amikoi estas la malyunuloi. The old people are without young friends. Patrinoi kun infanoi. Mothers with children. Yunulo sen kunuloi. A young man without companions. Sen kunula yunulino. A companionless young girl. Malgranda sen patrulo. A little orphan. Kun la grandai amicoi estas la infanoi sen gepatrai. With the big friends are the parentless children. That is the end of lesson one.